Hello everyone, in this video we will see how to download and install Kali Linux 2025.4 on VirtualBox. That is the latest version. Okay, first go to Kali Linux official website. It is Kali.org and download. Click on download or click on get Kali. Both are same. See here we have the two options. Installer images means ISOs. Virtual machines, these are the pre-built images. In this video I am going to download and install installer images. That is ISO. Click on it. See here the latest release at the time of making this video is 2025.4. If you want to see the older versions, you have to click on this Kali Linux releases. Okay. So scroll down. See here we have two options: direct download method or by using torrent. Either is the same. Okay. I am going to download by using this direct. Click on it to download. No need to register. See download started. See here its size is about 4.4 gigabytes. I am cancelling this one because I have already downloaded. See here, I have already downloaded. In your case, wait until download completes. Once download is completed, then open VirtualBox. If you want to install VirtualBox, then search for my YouTube channel how to install VirtualBox. Okay. Then click on VirtualBox. Then click on New, R Machine, and select New. Both are same to create new virtual machine. Then provide the name. I'm giving Kali. VMO. This is just virtual machine name. Then select the location or folder to store this virtual machine files and folders. This is the default location. If you want some other location, click on drop down and select other. Then select the path area for the NS space. Select the folder. Then select the downloaded IS image by clicking on this drop down. Then select other. Then go to download. See here, I have the Kali Linux 2025.4 IS image. Click on open. See, once we selected, we change it to Linux OS distribution to Ubuntu. But this is based on Debian, so select Debian, then Debian OS version, Debian 64 bit. Don't select this, proceed with unnetted installation. Then come to virtual hardware. I'm giving memory as 4 gigabytes. Number of CPU cores I'm giving to hard disk size I am giving 50 gigabytes then click on finish still if want modify the settings of this virtual machine right click and select settings or select it and click on settings or go to machine and select settings all three options are same if you are okay with all the settings just click on this start or double click on this one or right click then start then start with GUI Use up and down arrows and select the first one that is graphical install and hit enter. If cursor is graded, just press right control from your keyboard to release the cursor. Select the language and click on continue. Select your location. See here we have different locations. You can select any one of them. If you are unable to find location, click on other. Okay, I am okay with the United States. Then click on continue. Select the keyboard model. I am going with the defaults. Now provide the host name or computer name. Later also you can change it. This is the default one. I am giving 4 VM. Then click on continue. Now you have domain. Provide domain name. Otherwise keep it as blank and click on continue. Now we have to create our setup user. I am giving user full name as Artus course. Then click on continue. This is the username. If you want to provide some other username you can provide. Then click on continue. Set the password for this user. And on the same. Click on continue. See the clocks are based on the location that we have selected. Okay. See these are based on United States. Okay. If you don't want this, you can go back and you can select change the location. I am okay with this one. So I am selecting Eastern as the time zone. Then click on continue. Partition disks, I am going to use entire disk, guided entire disk. Or if you want to configure manually, you have to select this one and you can configure. Okay. Continue. Select the disk to partition. Continue. All files in one partition. Continue. This is confirmation. Select finish partitioning and write changes to disk and continue. So this is confirmation again. Select test and continue. See, now it is installing base system. 
now we have to select the software see by default it has selected desktop in a moment except see if you don't want and if you want to select genome you can select okay it is up to you whatever you want you can select then click on continue now we have to select the display manager see here we have edm3 or light dm whatever you want you can select i'm going with edm3 then click on continue now install the grub boot loader to your primary drive if you want select yes if you don't want select no if you want so select yes that is the default option then click on continue select the device for the boot loader then click on continue see installation is complete so it is time to boot into your system make sure to remove the installation media so that you boot into the new system rather than restarting the installation okay so go to virtual manager so go to virtual box manager see here optical drive is empty it is not empty if it is not empty we have to click on here and remove disk from virtual drive then come to virtual machine and click on continue to reboot now click on username and provide the password that we have set for this user hit enter double click on it to maximize again maximize it see you got the full screen now open terminal let me increase the font size go to these three dots preferences then go to unnamed then select this custom font check box then click on here plus button see back side font size has been increased see here it is increased now verify the version mod slash etc os hyphen release see we have installed kali linux 2025.4 okay see its id is like debian that's why we have selected debian as the guest operating system okay the first step after connecting to kali linux is we have to update the packages sudo apt update ampersand ampersand sudo apt upgrade hit enter then provide the password of this user this user must be the sudo user hit enter see, see here see it is going to upgrading why not to packages and installing two packages and this is the download size okay so type a if you want to install and upgrade then hit enter it is up to you okay this will take time now go to applications see here we have different sections okay this, this update and upgradation will take time okay so in this video we have seen how to download and install kali linux 2025.4 on virtual box okay for more tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you